So here's what we're going to do. I am working my way through the Chick-fil-A drive through and it's 11.15. I was just here this morning. I had a cup of coffee, sat down with a lovely client slash friend, 29-year-old, beautiful young woman, inside and out. She will know who I'm talking about when she sees this. At any rate, I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A here, eat some lunch. I'm gonna head over and catch some of the Liberty field hockey game. And I figured maybe we'll take a ride and a walk around Liberty campus. Well, let's do a tour, an outside tour of Liberty University, show you some stuff that's going on as far as buildings and the campus itself, and catch some Flames field hockey. They're, okay, I'm not sure what they're ranked. I'll find out and I'll let you know. Top 10, I think, top 10. They're awesome. We'll check some of their action out too right after I grab my lunch. Coming right out of Chick-fil-A, coming down Ward's Road. You can see uh, School of Religion Tower up there ahead of us, and you can see Lucom sitting off to the right of the School of Religion Tower. There's another good view of the tower and Lucom. There's a good view of Cookout. River Ridge Mall right off to our left at that traffic light. We're looking at a cloudy slash sunny day today. It's about 67 degrees right now. A beautiful day for field hockey. If you're familiar with this, this is Ward's Row, where most of your shopping activity is going to take place around the LU campus. This is a traffic light that's going to take us through the tunnel, which I'm not going to make this green light, I'm sure. But straight ahead, you got your Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Sam's Club. Am I going to make this light? Well, listen, I think I'm going to. There we go. Beautiful. Up through the tower, not the tower, up through the tunnel to Liberty University so I can find some place to eat and then we will drive around and I'll show you a bit of the campus, okay? So let me get to a parking spot so I can eat safely, dunk my french fries in my Polynesian sauce. It is college for a weekend and uh, we'll see if there's a lot of extra pedestrian traffic rolling around and we'll get back with you in one second. My lunch is complete. I ate in the parking lot of the Liberty Baseball Stadium and straight ahead you see the Liberty Athletic Center. That's where the schools, that's where the teams that don't have their own place like football, basketball, those guys have their own workout facility. Liberty Athletic Center, they have various teams in there. Fitness, workout, health, trainers, even a sleep pod. Straight ahead you see the tower. We're gonna cut left and go up over this walking bridge. If you're on that walking bridge, you essentially can stay on the same level walking across campus. It's pretty cool. You're not going up and down all the different terrain. We got someone that's not using a turn signal. That's killing me. Lynchburg City Transit right here. The city bus does comes through here. So you can go from north to south, walking on the same elevation, essentially. Off to the left is the back of the football stadium. Off to the right is the Hancock Welcome Center. bookstore right there to the right and if we shoot around this traffic circle and head over across this bridge we're gonna head over to East Campus we're gonna head in that direction shortly to get over to the field hockey field 
But we're going to come down this way first to take a look at the football stadium and the hockey arena, football practice facility. Straight ahead is La Haye Ice Center. Big ice hockey team and following here. Then you have Green Hall behind and the Tower Theater, you see that. Behind the Student Center here. This, tr this parking lot gets jammed, packed, pretty early on and stays packed throughout the day. La Haye Ice Center again, you can see the monogram just peeking up behind it. We got a rock climbing wall in here, all kinds of workout equipment, weight machines, weights themselves. Oh, what else we got going on in there? Basketball courts. Volleyball courts, swimming pool. <clears throat> I forgot we can't get out this way. I think they might be putting another garage, parking garage in there. And then this young man's going to walk right down the middle of the road. I mean, why not? Why not? Now straight ahead, you're looking at the football practice facility just across the street. Got some bird scooters, some one-wheel scooters. Look at this guy, unicycle scooter of some kind. I'm pretty sure there's a fairly good chance I could kill myself if I were on that. <clears throat> Let's swing in here and just show you the baseball stadium with the caboose. I think you can rent out the caboose for different activities. And there's a look at our baseball stadium. Liberty School of Law right off here to your right in that building and then it's going to be the backside of Green Hall. Green Hall connected to the School of Law, Thomas Road Baptist Church, Liberty Christian Academy K-12 through school. There we go, School of Law entrance right there to your right. A 
you head right, you can get to Ward's Road exit, you can get to LCA. Down here to our right and left, we have Liberty Tennis Courts. Outdoor tennis courts. And then straight ahead, we have an indoor tennis court and multi-purpose facility. See our multi-purpose center right here to the right. We got your indoor tennis courts to the right of this building and then a multi-purpose facility right there. If you're keeping track of where we came from, the tunnel to get out to Ward's Road is to the right. Straight ahead behind that big Liberty Flame sign, that is the softball stadium. And the tough part about sitting here at this traffic light at the tunnel, you can see the tunnel here to the right, is that it's always difficult to see the light because the stop line is like right at the light. So you always got to duck down, try to see if the light's green, or listen to people behind you beep and blow the horn at you. And we're off. Off on our left hand side as we drive around the back side of campus. So we have a smaller parking garage here. Student Mail Center now open. That is the old dining hall. And then right here we have the music and worship center, the rounded building. Science Center off to the left. The library right here off to our left. And tucked away a little further back from the library on the left hand side is the Liberty Arena and the Vine Center. A traffic jam up ahead. And we're moving. <clears throat> This little stairwell elevator thing will take you to an underpass to get over to Ward's Road. Cross the water, that is the Liberty Arena and the Vine Center. And then up here we have the new dining hall that they just built. I don't know what the name of that is, but that is the new dining hall center. More construction. I think that might be Commons four. I think we have commons one, two, and three, and that might be commons four going up. Always building here. More student housing and parking on the south end of campus right here. Sorry about the bump. Guys trying to cross. Hey, we got the Gwynn parking lot, also known as the Pit, straight down ahead there. That's on the southernmost end of campus. 
We could go straight across. That's where the field hockey action is taking place. We're going to go left first, though. And over here, up to the right, that's Lucom sitting up on the hill. College of Osteopathic Medicine. Football field off to the left is where the band practices. And we have the commons. Student housing. Straight ahead, the little round half circle entrance to the building is Liberty Arena. Beautiful location. We've taken you to a basketball game there before. And then off to the left is the Vine Center. Still do convo and things like that in the Vine Center, but your basketball, your volleyball, that's happening in Liberty Arena. Over to the right is the tunnel, the pedestrian tunnel, where you can walk through to get over to East Campus and the parking garage. I love the arena. I love going to basketball games. Big building in the center of the screen straight ahead is School of Business. Building out here to the left behind our skateboarder is DeMoss, and on the back side of DeMoss is Mountain View Student Center, uh, which is connected. Got a car behind me, not happy with me, but hey, it's 25 here. Let's just take our time. Arrive alive, that used to be a slogan in Pennsylvania. It's the back side of the bookstore slide around and look at the front of the football stadium make sure we don't hit any pedestrians or cars in the circle I love traffic circles I think when people know what they're doing man they work so well so well a lot of wheels around here man a lot of uh scooters and one wheels and bicycles there's your bookstore off to the left and the Hancock Welcome Center again to our right We can't get out straight ahead now. This road used to go straight through, but it doesn't anymore. So we're gonna shoot through the parking lot and then um, loop back around. I think we'll go across the bridge to east and then get over to the hockey game. He's carrying his one wheel. Maybe he's out of juice. Gotta charge up again. All right, back to the same circle, but we're gonna shoot across the bridge and head over to the hockey game. Go through East Campus. Well, you know what? Hey, before we do that, let's head across the bridge and then go over to uh, go over to the indoor track and natatorium show you what that looks like over there my guy's back on his wheel maybe he didn't have enough juice to get up the hill
East Campus, bunch of student housing over here. We've got a parking garage, the big parking garage on East Campus also. To the right, we have some athletic fields and facilities. To the left, we're going to jump across the road and head over to the indoor track and the natatorium and see if people can figure out taking their turn here at stop signs. It can be an adventure. There's East Campus again, student housing. Liberty Mountain Intramural Sports Complex, Indoor Track Complex, and Natatorium. Natatorium is a fancy name. I have no idea if it's Latin or what it is. And feel free to drop a comment and tell me what you know about Natatorium. It's a big swimming pool, man. They got diving decks and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. It's a nice place over here if you want to find a place to do some exercise. You can run. There's some trails on the mountain right here as well, which you can get to. So we have our fields for intramural sports. I think they do soccer over here sometimes. beach volleyball, some kind of obstacle course down there with the logs. Let me try to get us a, not zoomed in too much. All right, so this, on the near side right here, this is the indoor track facility. And the building's all connected. When I worked here on midnight shift, this was a good spot to come over and try to find some deer just walking around. Could be a little boring on midnight shift. And then the right side here is the natatorium. Now, this road goes out to Oddfellows, I do believe, all the way to Oddfellows. We are not going to go all the way to Oddfellows. We are going to turn around and head back towards the rest of campus. All right, we're back on Candler's Mountain Road. We came out of uh, Liberty Mountain Drive there, and we took a left to head up the mountain. Just briefly, we want to hit Liberty Mountain and show you where Snowflex is located, and this is how you get to the monogram. If the drive to the monogram is open, if not, then you gotta park at the Snowflex parking lot here, and you gotta hoof it, you gotta hike. There is the lodge and Snowflex. And you're not supposed to come up here unless you are driving to the monogram. So, okay, handicap parking off to our right for Snowflex. And you can see the side of the lodge here. 
and that is not you're not allowed up there that's snowflex so then here is the monogram closed to vehicles for monogram repairs but you could hoof it you could park down in the parking lot and then walk maybe i'll take you up there one day not today They have a little practice hill here at the bottom of the lodge, and then you can get up on the big snowflex and do your stuff. Stanley almost killed himself one day when he was younger. Coming down the AstroTurf mountain, that's what that is essentially, AstroTurf. Got to wear long pants, long sleeves, so you don't skin yourself all up. it out and take a look bird scooter down bird scooter down someone rode it up here and then left it let's take a look at this beautiful view and see what we can see all right so right here we have the LU at the top of the trees that is the football stadium and then you see that little half moon half circle rooftop rounded off rooftop that is the practice facility poking through there you can see liberty tower or liberty university that's tower theater off in the distance you can see the peaks of otter you can see the school of religion tower sitting there uh, demos back side of the school of business and the roof of vines. Leaving Snowflex back on the Candler's Mountain. We're on the east side of 460, and we'd be like right behind East Campus. We're going to drive up towards Lucom College of Osteopathic Medicine. And then we're going to swing down off of that mountain right to the field hockey game. Oh, I have not been on this road in a little while. We got some trees being cleared right here. I don't know if that's just for the view or if they're looking to do something. We have some housing built up on the hill right there some staff housing caught that sign but it's the city of Lynchburg and now we just hopped into Campbell County on Liberty View Liberty View Lane Liberty View Road I don't remember and there is Lucom straight ahead Let's swing around here and take a look at something. That's Lucom, and I just noticed this sign. For the Army ROTC PT field. That's interesting. This used to be a paintball course, field, uh, whatever you call it. It used to be a place to for paintball competition, games. Got a nice big gate up front. We're calling it Army ROTC PT Field. Yep.
So you see, we had big barriers up there and big nets, little places to find uh, cover, take cover, kind of blow up obstacles. Now it is the Army Combat Fitness Test on the sign down there. Interesting. We got our monkey bars and we got our wall. You got your course all mapped out there on the AstroTurf. Pretty cool. I'm a fan of the Army. I'm a fan of ROTC. Faculty parking only. We're just going to jump out and um, grab a little shot and show you what it looks like. Another nice view up here from the mountain. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we see. Got the School of Religion tower right there some of the commons and then the south end student housing and then way over to the left right before that wire and that uh, big pole right there with the wire right behind that and there's somewhat of a haze the peaks of otter you see the big ball right there on the line that's because of the airport being near us it's always a good idea for those planes to see where the lines are when they're trying to land and there is Lucom again Let's work our way off the mountain and get to this hockey game. Take any guess on what the score is. It's 12-17 on my clock. Game was supposed to start at 12. I'm going to guess 2-0. Liberty. Let's see. Now we're gonna come up to a stop sign. If we take a left, we head out towards 29, very close to a Joe Beans, if you need to get your Joe Beans fix in. If we head right, we're heading back towards East Campus. And yes, the airport is off to the left as well.
We just came down off the mountain. Lucom is up to our right. Parking is pretty restricted everywhere. I don't know exactly where we're supposed to park to go to this game, but I'm gonna try to park real close to the field, see what happens. Seafall right, fall parking, I see. There we go, we got some field, some field hockey stuff going on right there. Let's find a spot. Well, we just showed up and it is one nothing, not two nothing, one nothing. All right, flames are in red. I don't know how familiar y'all are with field hockey, but it is a pretty fast paced game. Played on this AstroTurf here in college, and I don't know if it's AstroTurf all over in college, but it is here, and you can kind of see the water shoot up, because what they do is they wet this. They spray it down occasionally, so the wall is nice and fast. Much like uh, the rest of the facilities here at LU, it is beautiful. This is an awesome field. So if we get some action up here, get some scoring action on our end. A lot of whistles and play on. Whistle and play on. That's how we do. Seriously though, what kind of shape do you need to be in to play this running up and down, bending over, hitting the ball? It's crazy. You gotta be in some crazy good shape here. Take it back and switch the field. That's what they say in soccer. I don't know if they say that in field hockey. Center, nice. And bring it back. Got a breakaway with 30 seconds to go. Let's see what happens. A little give and go and give and go. And oh my goodness. Oh. There are the water cannons out. Spraying down the field. And getting it nice and wet so that ball flies. They do warn people in the stands. You can see the stands have emptied out pretty much because the wind just blows that water back onto the stands. So if you're sitting there, you are getting wet.
5-2. 5-2 is the end score of field hockey. Another victory. I'm telling you, they're good. Ranked number nine. Nine in the nation. Hopefully, we'll be going back to the national championship this year. There it is. Liberty University and Liberty Field Hockey. See you on the next one.